Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. And what do you think you're doing in my forest? Yeah, it's my forest. Well, our forest. No, not ours as in yours and I, or your kind. It's the elves' forest. (laughs) Don't act like you didn't know that. Good. Okay. So, what are you doing out here? (laughs) Oh, you're one of those. You know... One of those humans that think you're funny with your smart aleck answers. I'm pretty sure it's a customary human trait. Every one of you that I meet is the same way. You're different, Hal. (laughs) I don't think you're actually funny. Well, you've started off in a very poor way. Anyhow, as I was saying, what are you doing in our forest, human? You came to see the elves. Hmm. And why would the elves want to see you? Well, no, I did not say that. Well, no, I mean, you are an attractive specimen for a, a human. Yes, I called you a specimen. Well, I'm an elf, dear. What do you mean, so it's true? Well, we are better than humans. We live for centuries in harmony with the Earth, whereas you humans live an insignificant lifespan and do nothing but harm for the planet. I dare say that maybe there are a few of you that are different, but overall it doesn't really matter, does it now, as most of you are a curse, a plague on this land. Oh, human, I don't mean to look down on you, it's just the way it is. I've been around for centuries, and the humans never change. Like I said, there is a few good ones, but overall, your species is nothing but a plague on these lands. Exactly, and that's why we stay so far away from you humans. (sighs) So anyways, what brings you to see the elves, little human? Mm Mm-hmm. I see. So you've been regaled with tales of humans and elves fighting together to save the land from mighty beasts. I'm afraid that was a long time ago. So you've heard these tales, and now you've come to find us out. And while maybe in the past these stories rang true, and we fought alongside humans against orcs and dragons and many plagues on these lands, I'm afraid, my dear, that the humans have ultimately become the true plague on the lands. (laughs) Nonetheless, you still want to meet with the elves. (laughs) What stories were you told that are so fascinating that would bring you here? Oh, okay. Wait, what was that name? What is your family's name? Ah, I see. A descendant. Marvelous. Ah, I apologize. I'm a bit taken back. Well, <laughs> Truth be told, um, I am Arlick. I'm the elf that you're talking about. (laughs) I'm afraid it's true. Like I said, us elves, we live for centuries. Ah, I remember them well. Mmm, yes. (laughs) Well, I see where you get your beauty from. 
Well, it seems like the tales have been passed down through your family very well. I'm actually glad to meet you. <laughs> that is true, and I apologize for my harsh nature at first. It's just, we don't get many humans these days, and usually if we do, they're trying to come and take the forest, or make treaties for us to come to war for them, or they always want something. <laughs> I suppose that's true in a way. So it sounds like you know of our traditions. If you wish to come to the village, you have to bring a gift. So tell me, young human, what have you brought me? You? I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. You present yourself as a gift. Interesting. I see that you really did listen to the stories of the past. Well, I'll turn around then. Yes, I mean, if you were to be the gift, I feel like I should be able to judge the quality of the gift. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Definitely a descendant. Hmm. You are quite lovely. Well, follow me to the village, then. Well, have a seat there. Would you like some tea or a snack? It is a long journey from human lands to here, after all. <laughs> Excellent. Let me put on a kettle. Oh, uh, I didn't expect you to be right behind me. I just put the tea... Mm. Um... Why did you kiss me? The gift. I don't understand. Why are you... Oh... <laughs> I see now. No, it was just rather forward. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the kiss. I just didn't expect it. I suppose I would like to try again. Yes. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Your lips are very soft and you have a lovely fragrance. Mm. 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 Oh, maybe we should uh, adjourn to the other room. <laughs> yes. I suppose I am the one being forward now. Mm. 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 You look, um, very overburdened with all these garments on you. After such a long walk, perhaps maybe we should remove some to lighten your load. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh dear. I almost forgot about the tea. Mm. Let me just turn the kettle off. Why don't you... Make yourself comfortable on the bed. Huh? Mm. Oh. I'll be right back. Huh? 